forecast. Hey there, good morning, happy Tuesday to you. It is a fresh start here across Coastal Bend and we're looking at some pretty fresh temperatures. We're pretty close to where we should be for this time of the year. Upper 40s in the neighborhood of 50, but it's still feeling a little chilly out there. Have a look for yourself. We are dealing with feels like temperatures that are a little bit cooler for some spots. We've gotten better in Beeville. We were just sitting at 46 degrees with a feels like temperature of 43. And uh, right now it looks like most other places pretty true to temperature, but yeah. Those middle 40s for our inland neighborhoods like George West, Beeville, uh, even 47 in Robstown, it feels a little crisp this morning. Whereas along the waters, which tend to insulate the temperatures a little bit more, we're sitting at 55 in Port A, 56 at NAS Corpus Christi there in the bluff. We're feeling a little bit better, but 48 rounds it out at CCIA and it's 638 right now. How are we looking as we uh, continue to monitor the dry air over the coastal bend? Well, we've got a little bit more moisture returning to the coastal but it's going to be a very gradual increase here. We like to look at dew points because uh, they're a pretty good measure of how much water is sitting in the air above us. And when we have drier air, we see bigger fluctuations in our temperature from morning to afternoon. When we have more water molecules in the air, those kind of act like insulation and keep that temperature range more in check. So closer to the coast, our dew points are a bit higher. We won't see as big of a range for that temperature this afternoon as a result. But in the neighborhoods like Beeville, Robstown, Falfurias, and even Hebronville, uh, we're closer to 40. So we know that means things are pretty dry out there. And overall, it's going to be a very pleasant day with a nice warm up this afternoon. So between now and then, how's it looking this morning? For that, we turn to the dog walking forecast. My buddy here, Mindy, we're matching today. Love to see that, but you've seen her here before. She loves to go for a walk and she relies on this dog walking forecast. So let's let her know what she can expect. Temperatures making a quick trip through the 50s and we are spending most of the morning in the 60s, already on our way to the 70 degree mark as we cruise through the lunch hour. Don't expect much in the way of winds though. So. It's really going to be very pleasant today. Make sure you either have lunch out on the patio, maybe go for a walk uh, with a friend at lunchtime, or maybe grill out tonight. It's really going to be pretty pleasant, especially since this is a pretty windy place, right? We have winds that are less than 10 miles per hour. That's something to celebrate. We'll be feeling uh, the benefit as we go through the afternoon. Our winds with a little bit of movement that we have will generally be from the east and the southeast heading on into this afternoon. But how do the skies look? Yesterday we had some of those tall wispy clouds back into the picture and we'll have more of those today. A few peekaboo moments of full on sunshine, but overall don't let the clouds discourage you. Still going to be a phenomenal day. In fact, we had this fantastic sunset photo submitted to us in our Coastal Bend Weather Watchers group by Miss Patricia. The sunset at Oso Bay was just picturesque last night. So expect more of this and thank you for all of you who contribute on our Coastal Bend Weather Watchers group. If you're not already in on the fun, head on over to Facebook and join the group. After this great stretch of weather, we are looking at a slim chance for some rain though. It comes Friday night into early Saturday morning. So we're dry before and after and we're not talking about a lot of rain right now. It looks like maybe a couple of tents. A few lucky spots could get closer to a half inch, but it's not looking like a lot of rain and it won't ruin your weekend. Saturday looks to be pretty nice once we get rid of those morning showers and it's a nice warm up into the 70s between now and then.